Hey makers, this is Yana. Today I'm going to show you how to take your digital photos and create them into shapes. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more helpful tutorials for making cake toppers. Also, be sure to get your freebies from the link below. Okay, well, let's get started. So here we are in Cricut Design Space. First, what we're going to do is we're going to pick a shape, we'll go to your shape menu, and you can select any shape you like. Today I'm going to show you how to put your photo into a heart. So here we have a heart. Now we have to find a photo. So just go ahead and upload any photo you like. So this is very important. When you hit upload, this process, the way it works, you instead of uploading an image, you have to upload a pattern fill. So hit upload pattern, find your image on your computer. I have this example photo that I'm going to use today so I'm going to go ahead and click it over. Okay and go ahead and hit save. You can name whatever you want but for this purpose I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. Now this, the, when you upload a photo it takes a little bit longer to save as it's a bigger file than a graphic. So just give it some time and don't worry that it's gonna upload. Once the image is uploaded into pattern fill, you actually won't see anything happening here. So you will not see your image appear on this upload menu. This is the step where people usually get confused. Don't worry, your image is there. On this step, just go ahead and click cancel. Now right here, what you're going to do is you're going to go on the top where it says fill and click that and we're going to go to print. So from print, instead of a color what we have now, you're going to make it a pattern. So change from color to pattern. I already have my image uploaded here. As you can see, I have two. Currently, for some odd reason, Cricut Design Space has no way of deleting a pattern so be careful not to upload too many of the same ones like I have. So I'm gonna hit on one of them and now this is where you have to go and edit your pattern because as you can see picking in the back when the pattern uploads at least my image it is repeating or doesn't look exactly how you want it appear in your shape. So we're gonna go and hit edit pattern. Okay so we have the image here so basically right now what you're gonna do is you're gonna play around to make sure it is exactly how you want it to appear in your design. So you're gonna scale it either make it bigger or smaller move it horizontal or vertical you basically just try a different um, different ways to move your image around. There we go. So now we see it takes a little bit of playing around until getting your image just right. Unfortunately, you cannot click inside the shape just to drag it, at least not at this point in Cricut Design Space. So you have to play around with these tools. So when you're done and you have your image the way you like it, go ahead and press X. So here we go. You have your image ready to cut. So the way this works is you're going to click make it. So when you click make it, you're going to see that your image will show you a black border around. This is for Cricut to know where to align and cut your shape out. So first what you're going to do is you're going to print this out on your home printer and then feed that same page back into the Cricut and put it exactly as you see here on the mat. And that's it. Now you can try different shapes and use them for all sorts of projects. 